Ash used a super effective move against the Pokémon anime's newest villain. Ash got physical in the latest episode of Pokémon the series, Sun and Moon. Decking a villain with a nasty-looking shoulder tackle. Ash doesn't usually get physical in the anime, typically leaving the dirty work to Pikachu and his other Pokémon. You can check out Ash's super effective tackle below. Pokémon the series, Sun and Moon is currently in the middle of a massive arc involving the Aether Foundation, Ultra Beasts, Lily's family, and more. While the Pokémon video games established Lily's mother Lusamine as the main villain behind recent attempts to open up holes to the mysterious Ultra Space, the anime presented Lusamine as a more sympathetic character and instead made her underling Faba as the real villain of the arc. Over the course of the arc, the anime revealed that Lily's long-standing fear of Pokémon was due to a traumatic incident in which she was nearly sucked into Ultra Space by a Nilahago. Faba used his psychic-type Pokémon to erase her memory of this incident, as Nihilego's appearance was his fault. In last week's episode, Faba kidnaps Nebi, the mysterious cosmog that has been hanging out with Ash, in order to force it to open a second Ultra Wormhole, while Faba ultimately succeeds and causes Nebi to evolve into an inert Cosmoem. Ash gets his revenge by blasting Faba into the wall. While decking Faba gave Ash some personal satisfaction, it didn't help Nebi, nor did it prevent Nilahago from kidnapping Lusamine and dragging her back into Ultra Space. We'll have to see how Ash responds to these recent developments next week. But in the meantime, he should know that if his Pokémon training career doesn't work out, he can always become a football player with a tackling ability like that.